Hi, thanks for watching my video about how to make a PowerPoint for Workflowy easily. I did a little research. I love Workflowy. I use it all the time. And I like it, but the thing that frustrates me is I didn't know exactly what a simple way was to take my Workflowy outline and convert it into a PowerPoint. And actually what I really wanted to convert it into was a Google Slides because I use, actually use Google Slides because it's easier to distribute. So I'm going to show you a way to make a take a workflow outline and put it into PowerPoint, and it's really pretty simple and fast. And so well, let's do it now. One of the things you want to do with your outline is, if your outline is really nested deep, like level five and level six, you want to break it down so that you have no more than three levels in your outline for that you're going to, the part that you're going to convert to the PowerPoint. If you're going to convert more uh, if you're going to convert more than three levels, what you should do is, is every section that you can break down safely into three levels, you should convert that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just export this section right here. And this is just a real small, small section that I'm going to use an example. So I'm going to copy that. And you just hit Control-C to copy it. All right, and now I'm going to open Microsoft Word. And in Microsoft Word, I'm going to create a blank document. And for now, I'm just going to paste it in exactly like it was. And see, it actually indents and everything. But that won't go. That's not an outline. That won't go to PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go to View up here. And I'm going to view this as an outline. And the first thing I'm going to do is now I've got and I've got these dots that are kind of weird. But what I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to change it to level one. So now everything's kind of in a flat line at level one, which is fine. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Word document, and I'm going to drag it over here, and I'm going to bring my workflow up here, and I'm going to make this my main one so that I can kind of see. So now I want to have a, I'm really going to treat this as a level one and this is a level one. I, I might actually do this as all level ones and do direction as one slide, brightness, temperature will be a separate slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these first three as level one and then I'm just going to go here and, whoops, sorry I did that wrong. You click over here in this area right here where the arrow turns. And I'm going to get these two. I will dump them down to level two. All right. In brightness, I've got these two. I'm going to take them to level two. But this one is actually going to be a level three. So I'm going to demote it to level three. All right, temperature doesn't have any, so light travels in straight lines. It's the next level one. And I'm going to take all of these and demote them to level two. Let's see, and then this, I don't need this at all. I need this blank one. And then I have one here that's level three, so I'm going to select it real quick and make it level three. All right, so I've basically reproduced the uh, structure of my outline in Word outlining that matches my workflow. It, it maybe took 15 seconds. It really took longer because I'm talking while I'm doing it. But and, and it might take a little longer if you have a lot of slides. But if you have a lot of slides, I suggest you breaking it down. So now I'm just going to save this file. see. I'm going to save it in Simple Honest and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it Light Lesson. And while I'm here I'm going to go over here and copy this so that I'll have this for when I do my PowerPoint. 
and I'm going to save this as a Word document. All right, I'm done with this. So I'm going to close this out, and I'm actually done with Workflowy 2. So I'm going to minimize it, and now I'm going to run PowerPoint. All right, and in PowerPoint, I'm going to open a blank presentation. All right. I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to select New Slide. I'm going to say Slides from Outline. All right, and I'm going to click right here. I'm going to paste the folder I created before. Here's my light lesson. I'm going to insert it. going to delete this first one because it's blank. Now I have my slides. They're not quite right, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to change the layout of this slide to be a title slide. I'm going to change the layout of this side to be a title slide. I'm going to leave this one alone. I'm going to leave this one alone. I'm going to change the layout of this one to be a title slide. And you could do it differently if you wanted to. And then I'm going to leave this slide alone. All right, so this looks bad. It's not really a good looking slide presentation at all. But luckily, the new version of PowerPoint has this really cool feature. You go to Design, and you go to Design Ideas. And it will give you suggestions about how to improve the appearance of the slide. So, this looks good for my first slide. Let's see. I like this one for my second slide. Now I can add a subtitle if I want to. For direction, I like, let's see if we're here. This looks pretty good, so I'm going to use this one. Brightness. Now brightness has three levels, so it, it doesn't quite give you as good as an option when there's when there's two nested. So what I might do is just make this two levels. And I really like these, it's my favorite way to do it. Then this one. I'll take this and for my last slide. I want this suggestion right here. All right, so now you see, if we look at my slides now, let me go through them one at a time. In just a few seconds, I've gone from a workflowy outline to a PowerPoint presentation that looks really great. And it was, there was virtually, it was effortless. And uh, the new design ideas is actually pretty spiffy. Um, sometimes it will say it can't find an idea, but if you keep working and you come back to that slide, it's like it's asleep and it wakes up and it does a good job. But so now you know how to take your workflow outline to a PowerPoint presentation uh, with just very little effort. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.